Brian in Lake Charles, Louisiana. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm. Have you seen Mo Better? Definitely look in Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses when I cut your prescription lenses with anti glare for the Versace 4361. It is color GB1, which is the classic black and gold in the 53i size. Let me take everything out of the original packaging. Of course, the Versace box, your Versace card of authenticity with the international warranty, the hard shell Italian leather Versace case, Versace cleaning cloth, and the star of the show, the main attraction, comes with a plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping when it ships from Italy. And of course, this is the... comes. And I'm going to put that sleeve on there when I ship to you. This is the Versace 4361 color GB1 in the 53 eye size. It's got an 18 bridge 140 temple link. Again, the color GB1 is the classic black and gold. This is returning back to the vintage look. How they looked back in the day. Going old school on us Versace. Those are nice. The Medusa inside. All of that. Now, check this out. This is a man's frame that comes in some bold colors. It's, you see the black here, you see the, there's the classic tortoise, there's a solid white, there's a solid yellow, there's a solid orange, there's a solid fuchsia. I, I forget them all, but men are wearing some colors. And of course, again, the classic black and gold. But let me pop out the original demo lenses, one of which says Versace. Put that in the case because you will receive all the manufacturer's original packaging. I'm going to take your frame, put it into the tracing element of my blocker. But, but first, I want to program this shape into the computer. You are Secret Agent 2617. So years from now, should you ever want new lenses for this frame, I will have them pulled up. I can just pull them up and send them right to your home. Thank you, whoever that was. So, someone else just purchased off the website. Thank you so much. I'll check that in just a moment and get them a little thank you message. Let them know I'll get everything ordered for them. Hit this green start button. A little stylus pops up and it's going to go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You see a genuine... Hang on one second. got to check my messages. Sorry about that. I was checking my messages there. The uh, As I was saying, you buy any genuine, authentic Versace frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now, I'm considered out of network as far as insurance goes. I can give you an itemized receipt that you can file for your out of network reimbursement. And you'll get a full reimbursement from your health savings account. Now, my website does take MasterCard, Visa, Discover, Amex, but uh, it does not take health savings account flex dollars. So go to the contact me page of the website and uh, call me and I can take your health savings account flex dollar over the phone. Now, that is the shape that I'll be cutting. Let's go ahead and move on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance is 67.5. Now here's the dilemma I come across from time to time. I can't put the 0.5 in there. I can cut it at 67. So I'm going to hit the plus button a couple times. It's going to, the PD is going to go up in half millimeter increments to 33.5. I do want to raise the optical center up 2 millimeters to 20. I'm going to go 2 above center to 20. And let's go ahead and get your lenses prepped. Plus 1 and a quarter minus 50 at 05. Plus 1 and a quarter minus 50 at 05. Put the power drum on plus, not minus, plus one and a quarter. Take the lens out of the protective sleeve. Put the lens in, rotate it until the spherical component comes into view first. Check your stigmatism correction. Yeah, that looks good. And I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. That are too light for you to see, so I'm going to darken them. One, two, and three. We're going to put that aura. On here for right, let's do the same thing for the left, plus one sphere, plus one sphere, 
put the power drum on plus one. I don't have to worry about rotating it. This has, you have no astigmatism correction, so you have the same power all over. I'm only going to put a center dot there. Label this one L. If you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Yeah, I know it's a bad joke, but you get one free bad joke with every pair of glasses sold. So, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting, so I'm going to take two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got those here. The black side is the sticky side. Stick that onto the first block, place it on the platform, do the same thing now for the second one. Now that silver button on the back is a magnet, it's going to do its job twice. The first time, let me pull the paper away. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. And the reason why I put those, um, man, everyone's blowing me up tonight. The reason why I put those three dots on there is it tells me that it's oriented and they're just perfectly. Get everything, <coughs> excuse me, that is not coronavirus. <coughs> I was just eating some peanuts. That's my protein source. It gets me through the day and I was choking on some crumbs. Now, the reason why I was saying I can't cut 67.5 and I put it on 67. If I were to place this black dot in this, that blue block, that blue cross is the geometric center of your eye, your frame, your eyes just inset from that. If I put it just inside that orange box, that would give me 67. So I'm going to move it a quarter millimeter this way to widen it and hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block on to the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the left lens place that in there pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line up the magnet same pupillary distance 33.5 same optical center height same thing i'm going to do i'm going to move the pupillary distance this way it's going to buy me another quarter millimeter per lens hit that button the arm comes down places the block onto the left lens now this is the edger this is what costs forty thousand dollars excuse me this costs thirty thousand this costs ten thousand this was free they threw that in there but combined is forty thousand dollars it weighs 200 pounds i recommend everyone go out buy their own put it on your kitchen counter then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size. This wheel in the center that has that little bevel, that's what's going to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. I'm going to wake up the computer. This is job ID number 2617, 2617. These are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high index plastic, or Trivex. I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Press the sticker on there firmly. The magnet goes and it's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or by now you know I like to call it the Charles, as in Lake Charles because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. So I wonder if there's a Lake Chuck. So the lens is going to go up. It's going to be traced by two white styluses going around tracing the shape of the right lens. And then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once is measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you won't have any with your prescription in this frame. Now I do cut some much higher powered prescription lenses all day long for how much? For free when you buy the frame from me. Now when you don't buy the frame from me, I charge $50 for the lenses. And of course, Brian got the upgrade to the anti-glare, but his lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and B protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that you have to reapply every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent, never needs to be reapplied. Man, people are blowing me up. Now, the one thing you did do, you upgraded to the anti-glare coating, which costs $44.99. You also, by the way, any lenses you get from me, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, but they're also aspheric. Aspheric simply means not spherical. A basketball is spherical, it is round in every direction. 
So these are not only thinner and lighter, but have a flatter. A-spherics have a flatter front curvature to fit in today's flatter curvature frames. When you buy glasses from people online, they charge you for the prescription, which is no bueno. When you want to upgrade to the thinner, lighter weight, unbreakable polycarb, they charge you a second time, which is double no bueno. And then if you want the aspheric flatter curvature lenses, they charge you a third time, which is the old triple no bueno with me. Everyone gets that for free with every frame purchase. I make premium the new standard. But the anti-glare does reduce glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, it goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating, so it reduces reflections. Cosmetically, it's a much better look, so people are not looking at their reflection when they look into your lens. So it makes for much better eye contact, plus if someone takes a picture of you, you won't see the flash lit up. If you take a selfie, you're less likely to see your phone in the camera lens. And of course, it also comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating, so I'm going to dry everything off run my thumbnail around the edge of the lens. I'm going to tuck it in. The reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens and not the front because this doesn't protrude from the frame. But as I push the lens into the frame, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner first. This is a unique shape, so we'll see if it goes in first time. As I press down, it actually does snap in there, but if it did not go in there, I do not want any rough edges left over on the back of the lens from the cutting surface that would press against your frame as I press it in, scratching your frame or just, you know, hey, hey, if you're going to do it, literally, especially a frame this nice, if you're going to do it, do it right. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to flip that over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or today I'm calling it the Brian. Hit the green start button just like before the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is about to be traced again by the two white styluses, making sure the lens is large enough to fit into the left side this time. And you can see as it's going around tracing that and measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that, Brian. You got nothing. You got no edge thickness there. So. The block came off, I'm going to pull the sticker away, add to my sticker collection, throw that back in the bin, come down here to my lens armor, I'm going to put it in over that black dot, read the power, let's pull this back here, it's actually on 5, I don't have to move anything, read the power and I'm getting plus 1 and a quarter, 1 tick mark away from 1, going towards 2, 1 and a quarter, 150, 175, 2, your lenses are in the black numbers, which is a plus sign. Reds are a minus number, has the minus sign. You are farsighted, so you need five steps of correction to see far away. You're on the fifth rung of a ladder. Everything is in quarter increments, 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1, 1 and a quarter. Now, once everything is the correct size, you have two steps of uncorrected astigmatism. You have half a diopter. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine tune knob, so we're going to check that second curvature. We end up at plus 75, one tick mark away from one going towards zero. That's because if you had a dollar 25 and then someone borrowed 50 cents from you, you'd have 75 cents left over. That's where we're at, 75 cents in the black. Now, you have a plus one and a quarter this way, a second curve this way, 90 degrees away, minus 50 is how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. And we're gonna line that up to the fifth meridian. A straight line is zero to 90 to 180. We're gonna barely turn that knob to five degrees. Now your left eye only needs four steps of far-sided correction. You're on the fourth rung of the ladder, you have no astigmatism correction. Now this frame, the Versace 4361 sells for $300 complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses so there's no charge for the prescription. He got my house anti-glare for $44.99 being a total of $344.98. Now again, if you were to buy lenses only for this frame, it'd be $49.99. The anti-glare coating still $44.99 and that would be a total of $94.98. Two different prices when you buy the frame for me and when you don't. But the reason why I point out everything is tax free now, a lot of people on the internet have to charge tax. I do not because I'm just like that. Nah. Um, 
I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices in North Carolina, so I do not have to charge tax on anything I sell. You also get free shipping, but we'll get to that in just a moment. I'm going to tuck everything in. Come on. Got a funny hexagonal shape here. Tuck it in at the outside corner. Press down with the nose. It snaps right in. Go ahead and take the block off. Add back to my sticker collection. I'll take that back. Look at that. I want to cover up at the bottom. It was getting so big, it was starting to split under its own weight. So I actually had to take some tape and wrap it around just to support the structure of it. And give it a little tummy tuck. And I see some of that tape down there at the bottom, so I'm going to cover that up. Mmm, I'm going to palm that just like a basketball. There's a spherical foot lens for you. So come down here. Let's put it in over that black dot. That's right. Kazal, I'm looking at you. Kazal, Versace's, they go hand in hand. Put that on there. Plus one. I turn the axis wheel. It's the same power all over. So we got that. So drum roll please, PD of 67.5. This is known as final inspection. I inspected that the prescription was correct. I now have to, I'm going to measure both vertically and horizontally, just like the crosshairs of a scope. That dot is going to sit directly in front of your pupil, which should be 67.5, optical center height of 20. So I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb, and it's how I decentered the lens. I had to program it at 67. And when we hold it up there, we're getting 67 and a half. Look at that. The kid knows what he's doing. By the way, I am a licensed optician. I've got over 20 years of experience and I've personally, personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses. So, and uh, I just want to let y'all know that every lens. So not to the bottom of the lens, but the middle of the plastic. We're getting 20 millimeters for the optical center height. 20 millimeters. We're good there. But I realize after all these years, all I'm doing is putting lenses in other people's songs. I want to write my own songs where they go. So, I'm coming out with my own line of Christian eyewear that has, they actually cut a groove into the frame, a cross. They embed a metal cross, screw that on there with silicone so it doesn't come back out. And of course, I've got a laser mark in here where they paint it, but you get a choice of I'm going to deepen the gold of this. This is an Italian gold. I'm going to do more of a yellow gold. But each frame, I do them. I'm going to keep talking about these in all my videos because I'm proud of my babies. This one is called dogwood because allegedly the crucifix was made out of dogwood. Now, they scratch the outer surface of this lens, of this frame, excuse me. I did, the inside color of that wood looks so good that I said, you know what, let's have this on the outside. Don't worry about putting me a wood grain. Let's just have the color of the wood. Let the thing show for itself. You can see Christian eyewear written there. What's the model number of this, you ask? It is John 316. That's right. Now, this one was first sent to me as a 52 eye size. I'm going to have them made in a 58, a larger eye size instead. I'm going to keep going. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Correction. I'm having them remade into a 55. That's my final answer. But I will come up with a 58. They're going to come back and do the 52 the next time around. But you can get them starting off in three colors. This one is dogwood. This one is the shiny black. And I've got the majestic purple. Not just for the ladies, but for the cute dogs out there who will buy anything in purple and gold. As I mentioned, every color, all three colors, you can choose to get a silver cross with a, a silver metal cross with a silver lasered color in the temple tip. You can get a gold cross with the gold laser on there. So that's for all the cute dogs out there as well as the ladies. But I digress. So let me get back to work. Brian wants his Versace. So I can't blame him. This thing is dope. This is the first one of these I've cut for. This frame is so nice. Part of that old school vintage collection, which I do remember. Biggie Smalls, all of them going back to the day. Take me back a minute. Take me back a minute, Brian. So, but, uh, but yeah, let me clean these up. Now, this is the portion every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Lake Charles, Louisiana is still in the U.S. Let me use this. But uh, I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Flip them over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do that neither temple is askew like that now when i say overlap 
or wobble. I take mine off. They wobble on. I'm part of that. I'm getting ahead of mine. These got me thrown off. That's okay. You can do no wrong, baby. I loves you. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I got it in standard alignment. But as you can see, I'm part of that 80%. When I take my Versace's off, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. Now I'm wearing the Versace 3245. It's got the Medusa on both temples. This is a blue tortoise. Blue with the platinum on the side, which matches my platinum wisdom highlights I got growing above my ears. Hey, I told you, I'm old school like Brian now. We remember that back in the day. But... I send out a selfie request in every package. Brian, please, you got to hook me up. Look, turn your head just a little bit. Cut your eyes back towards the phone. Let me get some of that gold in there with that picture. But I also send out cleaning instructions, not only for the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide, but for your Versace cleaning cloth and your case, as well as your frame and lenses, so they will last you for years. No other seller on the Internet does that, I am told. Again, all lenses are cut by a licensed optician, handcrafted here in the United States. Nothing gets mailed off. I went to college for this. I'm not just a machine operator. I am a machine, but that's another story. By the way, I field test every cleaning cloth before I ship it to make sure that it works. So, Brian, when you get these in the mail and you see that wrinkle in there, you know that it works. You can't tell me that it doesn't. So, do me a favor. Like this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can uh, just click the bell icon and you'll get future notifications of, of videos with frames and lens combinations. They become available. Now, I do not have this frame. This one is so new. I do not have it on the website yet or I'd have a link in the description below where you could clink, uh, click on it to buy this frame. Click on the link. That's a clink. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, Schultz, I know nothing. All right, that's another story too. So... But uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as FreePrescriptionLenses.com. On Twitter is FreeRxLenses. You can, uh, if you have any questions like, hey, I need this frame. I can't wait for you to add it to the website. Email me. Let me know what frame you want, what color. If you really want to be nice, upload a picture of your prescription. Tell me your pupillary distance and what lenses you want. I'll check on the price and availability and tell you exactly how long it would take me to ship them to you. I'm getting these back out to Brian within 24 hours of receiving them. So I do work fast. But uh, Brian, thank you so much again for allowing me to do the your prescription lenses with anti-glare and the Versace 4361 color GB1 in the 53 eye size and now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see how i bring that love and feeling back to glasses thank you